Hello, with this video, we are going to start a new series of questions involving area and perimeter of plane figures. This is the chapter that gives a lot of headache to math teachers and definitely to students as well. I was really excited to cover this chapter in online classes because I could explain the questions better with animations so that it is easier for students to understand. In my opinion, the hardest task is to remember the formulas for area and perimeter for different shapes. You can never cram them. So if you understand what area and perimeter is, you will be able to come up with the formulas easily. So let's first understand what actually area and perimeter is and what do we mean by plane figures. So perimeter is the distance around a shape. It is outside of shape. For example, if you have a garden and garden ke charon taraf aapne fence lagana hai, so how much fence would you need? You will find the perimeter of your garden. So for this shape which is drawn over here, perimeter would be sum of all the sides of this shape. So 10 cm plus 4 cm plus 10 cm plus 4 cm which is equal to 28 cm. So perimeter is the distance around a shape or in easy words you can say sum of all sides. Now let's see what area is. Area is the size of the surface. How much space this figure has taken. It is inside a shape. For example, if you have a room, just me apne carpet bichana hai, so how much carpet would you need? It means aap apne room ka area find karenge. Class 5 mein, you have studied about unit squares. Unit square ka matlab hota hai ki ek aisa square jiski length bhi 1 cm ho aur jiski width bhi 1 cm ho. So if this measurement is 4 cm, it means ki width wise हमारे पास 4 unit squares आ सकते हैं. And if this is 10 cm, it means के vertically हमारे पास 10 unit squares आ सकते हैं. So if we draw the unit squares, area का मतलब है, how many unit squares can we draw inside the shape? अब इसको करने के दो तरीके हो सकते हैं. एक तो ये तरीका है कि you start counting the number of squares. और जब आप count करेंगे, so you will notice that there are 40 squares inside this shape. दूसरा तरीका ये है कि आप ये देख लें कि हम length wise 10 squares draw कर सकते हैं और width wise हम 4 squares draw कर सकते हैं. So area would be length into width. तो generally जब हमने area find करना होता है shape का तो it is length into width. तो यहाँ पे area क्या होगा? Length is 10 centimeters and width is 4 cm. So 10 cm into 4 cm is equal to 40. And when units multiply, cm multiplied with cm will give you cm square. So area of this shape is 40 cm square. Now as the title suggests, we are talking about perimeter and area of plane figures. So let's see what plane figures are. Plane figures are flat surfaces. Jesse case, line, circle, triangle, square, rectangle. So any shape that can be drawn on a piece of paper, that is a plane figure. Its opposite hai, solid figures. Solid figures ka matlab hai ki they are three-dimensional objects. For example, cubes, prisms, ya cylinders. So the website mathsisfun.com pe ek badi achhi mujhe illustration nazar aayi. It is explaining the dimensions. If we have a point, it is zero dimensional. If we have a line, the line ki sirf length hai, width ya height nahi hai, it is one dimensional. Agar square ko dekhe, to it has two dimensions, length bhi hai aur width bhi hai. Aur cube ko dekhe, to length bhi hai, width bhi hai and height bhi hai. So this is three dimensional. To jab hum area and perimeter of plane figures ki baat kare hai, to we are talking about two dimensional shapes. Thank you. 